anyway, sorry, I got interrupted. And then this one, you're like, oh, well, that's off center too, which it is just a smidge, just a smidge. And the reason is that, you know, whatever direction you pull it farther, that side will be longer. So I pulled it more to the, my left, whatever it looks like to you. I pulled it more to my left. And that is because no matter what happens, no matter who cuts my hair, whether it's wet, dry, when it's done, a few weeks, months later, this mother side is always shorter than this side, left side, my left side. So I went ahead and pulled this just a smidgen, a smidgen or whatever to the left. And I brushed and brushed and br like, well, I combed, I used this and just kept pulling straight up rather than whatever anyone else does. So I did that in hopes that, like I said, the combination of the two knowledges, kind of put them together <laughs> for this butterfly haircut. What I actually want is literally Mel. Um, her layer look. Now I don't have long enough hair yet. So I'm very, very afraid. So ooh, I'm going to start very small. And as you can tell, I've already cut my hair so much on my own that look, <laughs> none of it's like even. So that's what I'm about to do <gasps> is hold my mother hair up doing the combination of Mel's rules, Mel's Mel's advice and Mondo's advice. And like I said, I did this on my own. No one told me to do this. I pulled it this way, but like I said, I shouldn't, when I cut it, it's gonna affect the parts that are down here, but it shouldn't affect the pieces that's right here that I just did. And I think I did a video where I showed, like I did what she said with the pulling your bang area up here, sectioning it and then pulling across your shoulder slash eye. My hair's not long enough to actually go across my shoulder. So I pulled it across my eye and I don't know angles and stuff. So if I mess this up, it's literally no one's fault. It's, it's no one's responsibility. I hate fault. I hate using the word fault. I hate the word hate. Um, but anyway, it's my responsibility. Whatever I'll live, it grows. And I'm taking hair, skin, and nail vitamins to make my hair grow. So I just want um, more of that, I guess, bell. <laughs> the bell shape. I look like a little genie style. A little genie in a, <coughs> genie in a bottle, baby. Anyway, so uh, I want that bell shape when my hair's curly. And I know I've already put three perms in it. And the very last one was probably the best one. It was the exothermic. Now I don't remember the name of it. It was the exothermic one and my husband went there and picked it out and he told people at Sally's what was going on and that I had already had two other perms that were not exothermic. Um, like literally I had, in the first two perms I did, I had the wave lotion bottles. There's videos on those too if you wanna watch them or whatever, you're just real bored and you're like, hey, let's just watch it on the video. Um, there was the wave lotion, then there was neutralizer. There was no bottle to go inside the wave lotion bottle. And apparently that's a thing, but it's a thing for people with more difficult and resistant hair or male men's hair. Omniperm, that's what it was. Um, and so my third perm was an omniperm. And again, it, parts of my hair took probably the healthier parts and parts of it did not. And that drives me nuts because I will never put another um, relaxer in my hair again. I'm a curly girl at heart and I can't live my life without it. So anyway, that's why I'm doing the things I'm doing. This is off centered for my part. This is a little off centered because one, I do have curly hair, so it, it doesn't matter. Naturally, I have curly hair. Uh, right now I have on a good day, wavy, crimped in some places, hair, crimped looking hair on a good day, on a very good day. And when I put like less serum or something in it, I've been putting this Cantu leave-in conditioning cream in it just for health and for the tips and ends. And the reason that I want the haircut uh, that, that, you know, Mel has, that, that layer bell look, is because I do hope that, and I know that once my hair grows out healthy and I eventually cut off all the relaxed hair, it will lift up my curl, which I know is going to be like, what, a year or two away? Maybe not really that long. Just because I'm going to have to slowly trim off these ends 
because I don't want super short hair. That pixie cut I had was never again. I don't ever want pixie. It's super cute and it could be cute on me, but with all this, it's not. So anyway, and I just love long hair. Like I've wanted hair all the way to my freaking feet, like my whole life, okay, at least to my butt. I say, I want uselessly long hair and I do. So I'm gonna go in and do the cut. I don't have um, a tripod, so I'm gonna have it propped up here like I always do the best I can. <laughs> and reverse the camera. So, <sighs> wish me luck, bro. Sis, bro and sis. <laughs>